Hi, my name is Ben Stegenga and welcome back to the Orient Society's Countdown to Giving Tuesday. The eastern indigo snake belongs to the genus Drymarchon, and Drymarchon, when translated, roughly means ruler or emperor of the forest, and I can't think of a more fitting name for these magnificent snakes. These snakes are top predators in the longleaf pine ecosystem. Once they get adult size, they have to worry about very few natural predators, um, and they can eat basically anything that they're able to overpower and swallow whole. Now this varied diet includes a lot of other animals, uh, things like lizards and frogs, uh, small turtles, baby alligators, small mammals and birds, um, they'll even eat fish, and one was documented eating a small shark that washed up on a beach. So quite the varied diet. However, what they're most famous for is their tendency to eat other snakes. Over half of their diet every year is made up of other snakes, and this includes our native venomous snakes. Um, they eat a lot of pit vipers, and they will occasionally eat smaller indigo snakes. So cannibalism is occasionally documented in this species. Now, indigo snakes are not constrictors, and they don't have any venom uh, to help them subdue their prey. They use their sheer mass and strength uh, to gain control of the animal and uh, then swallow it. In the case of small animals, uh, they probably just swallow them alive. They don't put up much of a fight, and it would be easy for them to just swallow and let the digestive tract do the rest. Uh, but larger animals, like especially other snakes, uh, they have to subdue them in some way. And what they do is they target the head of the other snake, and they use their powerful jaw muscles to actually bite and crush the skull of the snake they're going to eat. That way, they reduce the amount of struggle that the, the prey is going to put up and also reduces their chance of taking any defensive bites. Now, with our native pit vipers, these snakes are highly resistant. Um, so even if they were to take a bite, say, from a cottonmouth or diamondback, uh, it would not really phase them at all. Um, they can withstand a bite and go along just fine. Now, if you're enjoying this content and uh, are interested in uh, a way to help out with the conservation of these magnificent predators, I suggest you join us on December 1st for Giving Tuesday, uh, and you can make a contribution to the Orient Society and the direct conservation of this magnificent animal. I would also urge you to check out our online store. We now have some new Eastern Indigo Snake t-shirts available. Uh, all the proceeds from those also go towards the conservation of indigo snakes in this amazing ecosystem, and uh, they'd make some pretty good gifts for the holidays.